today I'm showing you how to make a vintage style botanical gin label using Heritage Designer. If you're new to the channel or just hearing about Heritage Designer, it's our new web app that we made to make complex design easier and empower you to design like a pro. If you want a full in-depth video, you can click on this card right here, or you can just keep watching this video to watch the magic happen. To try it out for yourself, go ahead and click on that link down in the description. It's a special link and you'll get immediate access to use Heritage Designer. Then you can follow along with this tutorial and the others here on the channel. Do me a quick favor and hit that red subscribe button so you can be notified when more tutorials like this one are uploaded to the channel. Before we get started, let me know in the comments below, are you working on a label design? And if you have any questions during the video, you can also comment there and I will get back to you ASAP. All right, here we are back in Heritage Designer, and today we're going to make this gin label from scratch. We'll click on New Project and get going with our artboard here. So the first thing we want to do is resize our board. We're going to make it a nice rectangle size. So we're going to go 1600 by 1300 for the height, and that just gives us one of those nice rectangular uh, label styles that you might see on a bottle. So let's go ahead and get started with color so let's change the background color we can select this little uh this little color code right here and change it to this kind of off black dark gray ish right here yeah that'll look really nice especially on a on a clear bottle uh, as gin is clear so let's add some text and then we're going to type in Shearfield, and we're going to size that up of course so that we can see what we're doing here so yeah let's make that a little bit bigger and then what we can do is change the color, obviously, so we can check it, uh, this kind of off-white, tan, yellowish color here. And then let's go Sign Master Pro as the main font. So we'll put that up here like so. And then we'll add some more text. We're gonna go the here, and we will pick the Milk Store font for this. So we can type M-I-L-K, and it'll come up. Boom, we'll do the script font right here. Put that here just above it. And then we'll add some more text and we'll do dry gin as this type of gin right here of course change it to that same tan color make it bigger and then since the black river font is a variable font we can give it some more width here we can stretch it out a little bit more uh, but keep everything intact keep the whole design of the letters intact so yeah we're just gonna keep uh, adding a little bit more width till we feel pretty good about this here and then make sure that it's in the center with everything else all right, and so what we're gonna do is take one of these badges here and put it at the bottom because a bottle label typically has one of these separated parts right here with the alcohol volume and a couple of different facts like the bottle number. So we've already made a couple of these for you in Heritage Designer, so this is already looking pretty awesome. So we just drag that over. And now let's start building a frame for the rest of the top part of our design here. So we can go over to Ornaments and we're going to select some of these corners here so i can click show all and then we're going to look for one that really fits the style that we're going to go for which is this kind of botanical uh botanical infused gin so we'll rotate that around and size this corner up so that it fits here and then we'll duplicate you can hold the option or alt key and you can also hit right click and flip to make sure that it's the other direction and then what we want to do is grab some of these lines make them the same color turn the lines and we're going to connect these two corners so we can easily make our own kind of custom frame here by just selecting elements that we like to do and making them appear connected with these lines so if it looks a little bit strange at first don't worry we're going to change some colors so let's go ahead and stretch this line to connect then we'll duplicate that line yeah and that's looking pretty awesome right there so then what we want to do is we want to take off this outline so that it looks like they're connected when we change the color of these two lines to the same color as the uh, ornate frame corners then boom it looks like it's connected then we can grab both of them alter option key and drag to copy and then right click and flip and boom we already have the makings of our corners here so what we want to do is take those two lines and then connect the tops and bottoms. So we're going to do the exa same exact thing here, stretch them, make sure that they go all the way across. So we'll drag over those two and then boom, copy, alt, option, or and drag down to the bottom, make sure those are lined up and ready to go. Then we'll select 
everything together but deselect the text and then we want to right click and group this whole frame together make sure it's sent to the back so let's make sure everything is aligned in the center here and then what we want to do is just change these colors because they don't really match with what we were doing so we're going to change that blue to this more of tannish beige color here what I think might be nice is if we make it look more like a stamp you see on these bottles there's this kind of stamp tickety looking effect effect and we already have some of those in here for you so we can just drag one of these over and expand it to the right uh, size make sure it's in the middle there and then we can actually right click and send it to the back and then it'll look like it's part of this whole design right here when we make it the same color so boom we'll switch it and then yes it looks really nice especially with that kind of cut ticket looking effect on the left and right it'll look super nice on the bottle so now what we can start doing is building the frame for our main text here so we can go over to shapes and then we want to start making a frame so we can select one of these really awesome uh, rise elements here which is very vintage you see it oftentimes done on many different labels and this one looks really nice so let's go ahead and make sure this fits our frame here so let's yeah let's size this down and actually maybe we can have it overlapping the frame a little bit like this yeah that looks pretty awesome really nicely so we'll send that to the back and then we can start playing with our type and make sure that it fits so if we hit this rise transformation boom it's gonna go exactly where it needs to go and then we can move it around how we want it and you can see these little anchor points these little no nodes that you can move around and get it exactly how you want it so we will size the text down a little bit move it over and then we can start playing with these you can see they're extremely user friendly they will move everything exactly where you want it to go so that it fits the frame so then what we're gonna do is actually delete the s and do a little bit of a trick here because we want the s to be bigger to fit that really nice circle there kind of a staple point of this name here so we want to make sure that the s is the same color drag it over and what we're going to do is size it up so that it's a bit bigger than the rest of the text there so we've actually separated it that s is by itself so then we can just move the rest of this text over so that it fits the rest of this frame here and it'll need a little bit of tweaking of course but we want to make sure that the entire layout is looking nice and consistent and the best way for that here is separating those two uh, s and the rest of the word so yeah we'll do a little bit more tweaking here with the nodes and then what we can do is maybe add a little bit more space uh, so we can select it and then yeah it's a variable font so we can add a little bit more width to that so that it takes up a little bit more of that space and then we just need to adjust ever so slightly so that this d fits the space here at the end and then maybe we can give the s a little bit more width as well to kind of match the rest yeah that's looking really good that's a good weight right there Hey, if you're getting value out of this label tutorial, let me know by clicking or tapping on that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel with that big red subscribe button. We greatly appreciate it and it means the world to us. All right, let's get back to designing. All right, so we wanna take the, size it down a little bit and what we're gonna do is actually frame that a little bit later. Um, but what we need to do is add some frame for dry gin here at the bottom. So if we go back to elements, go back to shapes we can either choose a simple component which you see those kind of uh, those those straight banners or we can go to more of the panel more ornate ornate panel section and pick one that we might think works well so let's drag this one in and let's make it bigger to see if it's gonna fit and actually let's just do a different one as well just to see the similarity okay yeah I think this one's gonna work better so we'll drag that one down and delete the other one I think that the end ornamentation there fits this layout a little bit better so we'll delete that one and then we will send this one to the back and then we can format our dry gin exactly how we want it so size it down put it there in the middle and then yeah we're gonna give it some more letter spacing so that it fits this space a bit better and that's looking pretty awesome so now let's frame the like I mentioned we would do so we can go back to simple components and we can pick one of these arcs here at the top and then we will size that up so that it kind of uh, fills that space over the the and then we will send this to the back and we're gonna fill that with some text here just in a little bit now it might look a little bit strange because all the colors are a little bit different but don't worry we will work on those for sure so let's go ahead and change some of these colors to match the rest of our layout here 
and you'll find that a lot of these components actually have a lot of different colors that you can change and pick from and you can have a lot of a lot of fun with how you want to orchestrate your layout in terms of color so we're just going to get these to be consistent here with the rest of the layout and then we're going to copy we can alt or option key and drag to copy or you can command c command v and we're going to fill this space here so we'll double click in we're going to type handcrafted and then what we want to do is hit the circle effect and then we're going to use this node at the bottom here this little anchor point and we can stretch it uh, to make sure that it fits there perfectly then we can add some more space between our letters and then yeah that is looking really nice for this handcrafted gin label so maybe we can change this kind of background color to more of a darkish blue green and yeah that's looking pretty good just like that and so we still have a bit of space here and so we're going to add some ornaments um, some flourishes here to fill this frame so let's pick a couple that we like we can show all here and start selecting from some different flourishes this one looks really nice so let's go ahead and add that one we'll size it up and then what we're gonna do is the same kind of trick we use to make our initial frame is we're gonna get rid of the outline or we can make it the same color gold and we're gonna make the fill that gold so that it looks like it's part of it so you can see here if I select gold boom it looks like it's part of it send it to the back and it is in the background but looks like it's part of the frame so let's add another one there's a little bit more space that we can we can fix here so let's add this flourish right here we're gonna turn that around and size it down so that it makes sense and then we'll do the same thing with the color send it to the back so that it looks like it is part of the frame here all right so let's add one more to kind of fill the rest of that space that you see there to the left size this down and then we'll do the same thing we will make the colors correct to match the rest of the frame and then we will right click send to the back then what we want to do is we want to grab some of these and we want to duplicate them again with alt or option key and drag and then we want to nudge them where we want them to be so you can move them around once you have an element selected you can move it around with your arrow keys but yeah we want to make sure that this looks like it's part of the top part of the frame here so that's looking pretty good just like that let's make the a little bit bigger and then we can add some effects to our text so if we go here to the effects panel we can add this 3d shadow this beveled shadow here we can change our color of our outline and our fill as well as our shadow so we've changed the shadow to more of a dark color to kind of blend in with the background there we can even change the angle and things like that so we want to do that with the rest of our text add that kind of gold beveled outline the dark shadow in the back and then move it around to be exact where we want it and then what we can do is we can add some effects here so we can add this this decoration this fading color cut and then maybe we make that that same blue that we've got there in the panels like this then we can change the weight and the distance to exactly how we want it but make sure we do it with the s as well remember that s is separate here because it's a little bit bigger but we want it to have the same effect so we just got to work with it a little bit to make sure that it makes sense so now let's add just a outline to our uh, supporting text here so we're going to add just a, a, a bit of border weight here we're going to make that gold so that it pops just a little bit and we'll do the same thing for dry gin remember it's that kind of tannish beige color and we want to give it that gold outline just to make it pop a little bit from the rest of the label then we'll give the this outline shadow we'll increase the offset a bit offset a bit to give it some more depth so then we want to maybe play with our colors maybe the dark maybe that blue is a little bit too vibrant too uh, specific so we've made it a little bit lighter to go with the rest of these we have a bunch of space left still and I think if we fill it with some flowers it will make sense with our botanical theme so we can hit this art nouveau flowers and we can start framing these uh, to where they would make sense just to fill this space that you see kind of in the top left top right and then the bottom left here right next to the dry gin so we're just gonna play with grabbing some of these Art Nouveau flowers and make them part of the frame where it makes sense. And it's totally okay if they are overlapping some of the flourishes, that's totally fine. It actually kind of looks nice. It gives it even more depth um, because the, frame, the, the flowers actually become part of the frame even though that they're colored. So don't worry about trying to, to overlap or, or make it uh, every single piece of the black covered or something like that. We just wanna do what makes sense for this layout. So we'll continue tweaking here. Yeah, and now this is looking really nice. However, 
I think maybe we can work on the colors. So if we select everything, we can start grabbing the colors of these leaves and make it this more light blue to fit the frames. And then we can start picking these individual flower colors to make them a little bit more in line with the design style that we have going here. So maybe we make some of these flowers blue, some of them more pinkish to match that tan. And yeah, it's starting to look really nice like this. All right, so let's go back to our bottom part down here. And we wanna give this some attention here. So maybe we highlight this section with the alcohol volume here and we will make this box the same color pinkish uh, pinkish beige that we have up in the rest of the design so we can make this box here like this and then give it that pink color and then we can use our layers panel to grab this basic shape the box shape find where our group is and we can drag this shape below that group so that it sits below the rest of the text just like that yeah that's looking pretty awesome so maybe we just tweak some of our colors a little bit here and we could do that from the project colors down here at the bottom if we don't like how a specific color feels we can use these project colors which is going to target every single color that's using that color that you've selected and it will change all of them together so then we can give this some uh, some texture here and I really think some grain texture would be nice just to give it that extra pop and then we can mess with the opacity here to give it the exact specific look that we want and yeah that is looking really sweet uh, but now maybe uh, some of the some of the dark tans are maybe a bit too dark and maybe some of the dark uh, greens are a little too dark and we want to we want to see them a little bit more again we can play with those project colors to get it exactly how we want it so the last thing we need to do is download our file and then we are ready to go so here is our completed gin bottle label design completely done in here this designer all nicely mocked up and ready to go so now you've seen how easy it is to make bottle labels using Heritage Designer. So go and give it a try yourself. Again, if you haven't already, use that link down in the description to sign up for immediate access. Now, if you had any further questions on something that I may not have addressed, again, please comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And let me know any other tutorial ideas that you have that you want me to do here on the channel. I will greatly make more videos videos for you and want to know how to best serve you well so let me know down in the comments. In the meantime be sure to check out the other tutorials we have here like making a vintage logo or a t-shirt design or even floral wedding invitations. Okay it's time for you to start designing like a pro but before you go if you haven't already click or tap that red subscribe button it just takes a millisecond and it's a way for you to know when more videos are uploaded the next time you come to YouTube. We greatly appreciate it. Alright, thanks so much for watching and until next time, create magic.